this is another episode of the Twilight Zone number 173. I briefly touched in one of my lives about the Johnny Mnemonic film and its predictions. I want to delve into that. Look at the descriptions in this video to take a look at the timestamps and I will be touching on five things the 1995 film Johnny Mnemonic published originally as a short story in 19 1981 in Omni Magazine by uh, William Gibson, father of the cyberpunk genre, who started writing that article back in 77, which is one year prior to when the first brain chip was publicly tested on a blind man and it was successful. All of these things that I'm about to talk about were predicted for 2021 in the movie. The first thing, iPhone, spelled E-Y-E. just like our current iPhone, I-P-H-O-N-E. Well, the theory is that originally the iPhone spelled with an I, E-Y-E, as in the all-seeing eye. Ironically, the spelling was turned into the letter I, indicating the individual flipping the focal point onto the user. The number two thing that this film predicted are the brain chips. Uh, the first public patient was actually given a brain chip in 2021 and he was able to send out a tweet with his mind allegedly because this was not covered in news stories unless the Guardian touched it okay number three big pharma is ruling 2021 as predicted way back when this was first filmed and released in 95 number four data is all important governed by something called the internet and also the concept of the cloud storage is touched upon and the fifth thing epidemic the 2021 plandemic because of how these things were laid in this movie to uh, foster into the future Okay, in Johnny's world, the black shakes are caused not by a virus, but a signal. Could it be 5G? Is 5G the culprit or cover story? Johnny Mnemonic says, there's something in the air, no matter what you do. Now, is 5G the cover story beneath the cover story? The true frequency culprit is hidden as testing continues. Get it? The word test becomes part of the cultural vernacular, while the real test is done via frequency feedback somehow, right? Maybe it's not by 5G, but another network that we're not aware of. Lastly, Johnny's brain stores memory and information that he's unable to access without a password from a pirate broadcaster named Ralphie, who's managing this brain program for the Yakuza. Ralphie's sent message was, quote, call off your dogs or we wideband your program. Unquote. So it's very interesting, and I think that we should start with who is uh, William Gibson, a very short uh, introduction to him. His short story was published in 1981 in Omni Magazine. It took him four years to write. He started in 1977. Is a little bit disturbing. Uh, beyond the obvious, but Johnny Mnemonic, it says, overwhelmed by the noise and the strange environment, he jumps through a hole in the floor and falls to his death. If we look at the meaning of this sentence and place it in our current time, overwhelmed by the noise, that could mean all of the crazy information that we're being forced to digest about our current era and the strange environment all around us meaning when we go to a store we when we step outside how are people uh, interacting with one another how are they dressing what are they 
what are they thinking? What are they saying? How are they acting? They're standing far away from us, okay? And then he jumps through a hole in the floor. Um, unfortunately, and uh, sadly, this is also something that's going on in our current era because of how uh, psychologically damaging all of this is uh, to everyone's mental health. So many people are unfortunately uh, taking their own demise. then that's a very sad fact. Let us focus on what this article says about the movie. Okay, this article is uh, from The Guardian, and it's a review from uh, May 6, 2021. It says, Mil William Gibson adapted his short story for this 1995 movie starring Keanu Reeves, now on re-release, a cyberpunk action thriller set in the impossibly distant future date of 2021. It's about a data courier, one of an elite crew of people with samurai discipline who have had brain surgery and the removal of most of their memory to make room for digital information to be implanted there so that they can transport it discreetly across borders at the bidding of secretive and high-paying corporations. The courier is called Johnny Pneumonic, though no one in the film uses that last name, and he's played with those weirdly childlike, vulnerable, faintly robotic wooden mannerisms by Keanu Reeves. Let's keep going. Data is the most important thing in the world whose information portals are governed by the all-important internet. Now that word internet was used in 95, and yeah, the internet could have been known about back then. Of course it was uh, in a uh, lesser degree than today, obviously. But my question is, when Mr. Gibson wrote his essay, starting in 77, published in 81, did he use that word internet or not? Okay, so let's continue reading. Internet, still a relatively unfamiliar word in 1995. The world is convulsed by a terrible pandemic. People are wearing masks and big pharma rules. Okay, so take a look at our predictions here. We have multiple, we have internet, we have terrible pandemic, we have masks and big pharma rules. Okay, next one. This movie, Johnny Mnemonic from 95, predicted the metaverse for internet in 2021 and more. Hold on. Does anyone remember that the movie, Johnny, is able to upload more data than his actual storage capacity can take? So that is a reference to cloud storage. There's another uh, prediction. Johnny Mnemonic accurately predicted in 2021 the world would be in the midst of a global pandemic forcing most of the population to wear masks okay so there's that johnny mnemonic predicted a fatal epidemic in info wars and look at what is in the picture here second decade of the 21st century corporations rule the world is threatened by a new plague nas nerve attenuation syndrome fatal epidemic its cause and cure unknown the corporations are opposed by the low techs, a resistance movement risen from the streets. Hackers, data pirates, guerrilla fighters, in the info wars, the corporations defend themselves. All right, so let's keep going and see how else we can interpret these um, subtle details in the movie. Some wild eyes went so far as to claim that 5G triggered the pandemic, which is the most Gibson-sounding conspiracy of all. In Johnny's world, the black shakes are caused not by a virus, but by a signal. Epidemic through technic. There's something in the air, no matter what you do, you're already sick, you're already dying. Connectivity is killing you. Very interesting. Now, this is from Wired. Uh, online magazine published January 11, 2021, 2021, and the conspiracies of Johnny Mnemonic. Uh, there's the picture of Keanu playing the uh, main uh, character. This movie only garnished a 36 meta score, so perhaps it wasn't necessarily all about entertainment, but a uh, way to deliver information to the public, to, uh, a way of disclosure. I just wanted to say thank you for tuning in and if you would like to support me you can go to my channel hit the about page and scroll down and you'll see the links on the very bottom very bottom right is support small business and donate you can donate anything you'd like if you'd like to help me out or you can take a look at the adventure guides that I have published which will help you anytime you're looking for a vacation 
I talk about some uh, do's and don'ts and also give you a location of a very uh, affordable hotel in order to save you money and other details. Thank you for listening very much as always. Take care, be safe, hit like, uh, make a comment and share this link. Thank <laughs> you.